Bill 21 here. I just did three vlogs and the mic didn't register any of it. Like you could barely hear me talking in the background. All you heard was wind. Uh, I got it back to where it normally is. I wasn't planning on vlogging. That's kind of the reason why it wasn't in its normal place. I tried to put it in while my helmet was on. I got more wind than talk. But, anyway. I don't think I had a lot of fails, man, because, like, the entire. The, uh, the signal was on. The entire. That entire ride was a failure because, like, um. My Bluetooth for my, um, phone died as well. So, it was beeping the hell out of me. So. Alrighty then, let's go for another, 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 another take. Uh, I got an update. Uh, so let's see if I can remember those topics I did. I'll try to. But, um, uh, quick update. Uh, I was planning on, uh, going to, uh, going to see my mom, uh, North Mississippi, um, this Sunday, yeah, this, leaving this Sunday night after I get off of work, so I should make it there about 10 o'clock, I will be leaving about 6, 6 -ish when I leave here, and I'll make it there about 10 at night, so, um, I was going to do that, then I, I found out when I, after I got the truck and everything, that, that later on that day, I did not have a spare tire underneath the truck, I think it was like a day or two after, that I didn't, you know, I, I didn't have a spare tire. Uh, of course, I was expecting not to not have the jack, because, you know, it's a used, it's a used truck. When you mostly see a, a pickup truck, why do you have your blue light? Oh, okay, you're pulling that car over. But, um, uh, anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I didn't, it, it wasn't until last week when I actually found somebody or uh, either a, a salvage yard around here. I don't want to be in that lane. Anyway, but uh, I found a salvage yard that's around here that actually has rims, uh, the stock rims for my truck. And um, it kind of took me a while to uh, get a hold of them because they're like a kind of like a, well, they're sort of sort of corporate, but they're not, sort of not. Uh, see, that's, this truck's a B16. And my, tr see, the van is a B16, and my truck's a B10. I have yet to find somebody that has a B B10 tag other than a commercial vehicle. So, I don't know. But anyway, um, uh, Dodge made three types of, um, rims for my, well, actually four types of rims for my truck. You have the uh, steel rim, the uh, silver rim, a uh, polished aluminum rim, uh, a full-blown just aluminum rim, and a um, chrome rim. Uh, I don't consider the steel rim an actual type of rim. It's just another rim. But uh, you had those rims. And apparently, and that was just for that one year. So, And that one year's got... <sighs> They're basically the same design. I th yeah, they're the same design. Uh, if you, I, I guess it's got like a difference in like uh, like half an inch. You gonna let the damn van in or not? It's like a half an inch difference, which really doesn't mean a difference in tires since the tires gonna be the same. But um, anyway, um, is it a police car? Police motorcycle? No. But, uh, that tire, the rim, I'm thinking about the rim now. The rim was, the rim for that truck is about, uh, I think I made a blog before about how they have to have, they had to have the VIN number in order to look up the rim. And then after I actually went into looking for a rim, I found out why. Um, the rim for my truck, one rim is $788 for one rim. <gasps> uh, getting it even from an auto parts store is still 300 bucks. Uh, 
I ended up going to Lamar Salvage Auto, Auto Salvage, um, it's Auto Salvage Incorporated, let me get it right, because there's a difference, um, and they had one, the, they had three of them that were exactly the same one that I have, the exact same model, exact same part number and everything. Um, they had one that was really scratched up, they had one that didn't, you know, it was okay, but it didn't, you know, had a little rust around it, or it might have just been that, well, you know, clay, that clay mud they have them sitting around, and, uh, the one I got, so even getting the cleanest one was only 125 bucks, and, um, yeah, had to, also had to go get a tire for that one, and... I, I was going to get one from there, but they took so long to get one, I just went ahead and left. And I came back here, and I had to drive all the way to pedal. Why do Chevy trucks always get so damn close? Uh, but um, it ended up being that uh, I had to, when I got to pedal, they had three tires. They had one that was a complete highway tire, okay, 40. Uh, and they had one that was a highway all-terrain, uh, like new condition, which means it only had like a 1,000 miles on it. Um, what happened was that it had a hole in it, and they didn't, you know, they didn't know. And when they went to put it up there, they said it was going to give me 40 for it. So this is a tire, a brand new tire, highway all-terrain, that's uh, never, that, that's only been on there for a thousand miles, on somebody's vehicle for a thousand miles, and they got a hole in it. And uh, I was going to get it for 40, let me get over, because this Chevy is like really... And it was, oh, there goes my luck with getting over all the time. But, um, when he went to put that one on, he put it on, and they, you know, they they let it up. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? No signal or anything. It almost fucking T-bones me. Some punk ass kid. <sighs> but anyway, uh, they had another uh, tire there that was brand new. I mean, still had the sticker on it. Tire had never been mounted, never been mounted to a vehicle. He said, "Well, that one would sell, normally sell. He'd sell it for a hundred. He said he would give it to me for fifty because that was he was telling me at first. He'd give it to me for fifty. Because that tire is so hard to come by. Now you won't, don't want to fucking pass me. Pass me! Oh my god. I want to pass this slow truck. Because the speed limit is 45. We're only going 35. Now he doesn't. He don't want to speed now. I hate, I hate people that do that. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, he ended up giving me the brand new tire that has never, had never been mounted to a vehicle and had never touched the ground. I mean, literally had the sticker still on it. Uh, <coughs> had literally had the sticker still on the, on the tire. I mean, I, the sticker is still on there now, and it's put underneath my truck. Um, he gave me that one for 40 so all in all, I got, I only had to pay 165 bucks for a, might as well say, like new rim and a brand new tire. From the same place I got the um, rim from, well, no, no, no. Yeah, the same place I would have gotten the rim from, the tire would have been 30 something and it wouldn't have been like, it would have been nowhere near like new and then they'd be $10 extra for mounting and balancing. I want to get out of this lane. Oh, you want to get out of that lane too. Light turn yellow in. Here we go. Oh well. But yeah, that's the update on the truck, man. But uh, I guess I'll end this one here and then uh, go to another blog. Uh, trying to remember the ones I had before I lost. So. See you guys. Uh.